Hey everyone, it's Jason here with the Jubilee Project. We wanted to make a quick video as a final update to the waiting game. But first, a huge thanks to all of our fans and supporters out there. We really want to thank all the sponsors who sponsored the video, everyone who watched the video, and of course we want to thank Link, who collaborated with us on this amazing video project. In case you haven't seen the waiting game yet, please go and watch it, and watch it until the very end, of course. Um, but really, the waiting game was an amazing success. We had nearly 10,000 views in one month, and we are projected to raise over $2,000 for Link's The 100 campaign. But to tell you a little bit more about where the money's gonna go, here's Jennifer from Link. Thanks, Jason. Hi, everyone. My name is Jennifer, and I'm a regional manager here at Link Liberty in North Korea. Thanks so much for allowing us to be part of the Jubilee Project, and thank you to all the sponsors and viewers for participating in this and allowing for enough funds to be raised to help rescue the life of one North Korean refugee. The 100 Campaign is Link's aggressive mission to help rescue 100 North Korean refugees out of hiding in China and into a safe country as soon as possible. The money that you all were able to fundraise through this project is able to go to that journey to help get North Korean refugees out of hiding. We find that many North Korean refugees will spend their lifetime in China hiding. The money that you guys raised through this project is able to go directly to that mission and help them get them out. By rescuing just not only one North Korean refugee, you're not only guaranteeing them freedom for the rest of their life, but you're also guaranteeing them a lifetime worth of freedom for them and their future family. Thank you to all the sponsors uh, for donating the money, to the viewers for hitting up the video every day, and to the Jubilee Project for modeling what an amazing creative project can do to help save a life. Uh, it's definitely spurring this mission on and it's going to spur this movement on with other creative models and ideas like that out there. For more information about Link, about the mission, and about how you can get involved, uh, check out our website at linkglobal.org. And thank you again for everyone here at Link for all that you guys were able to do. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, just as we wrap up this video, I want to share one really exciting piece of news and also answer some very frequently asked questions by our viewers. So number one, the very exciting news is that the waiting game has been accepted into the 11th annual DC APA Film Festival. That's right, Film Festival. So in case you're in DC in October, definitely check us out. Uh, this is our very first award in Film Festival, um, so we're super excited about that, so thank you so much. Secondly, some frequently asked questions. Definitely the number one most frequently asked question is, why did the guy just call or text the girl on the way? And that's a good question. Honestly, I wish there was some profound or deep reason why we wrote it that way, but there really isn't. It's just something we didn't think about. We actually wrote uh, the waiting game script the night before the actual shoot. Uh, that said, this was our very first short film, so show us a little bit of grace, and we promise you the next ones are going to be better. Which leads me to the second most popular frequently asked question, which is, when is your next short film going to be? Um, and we're very excited because we're right now we're in post-production, we're editing our second short film called Love Language. It should be a great one, and we're very excited about it. Third question I've been asked a lot is, who's the girl, and are you guys really dating when you're going to be engaged? No. Um, she's an amazing girl, she's a great friend of mine, Nancy, but we're not dating and we're not going to be engaged. We're like super young. Uh, but thank you so much for all of your questions and comments. We look forward to uh, sharing more short films with you in the future, and thank you so much for all your support. Definitely make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and join our Facebook group. Until next time, JP Love.